Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about prostate adenoma. Prostate adenoma or BPH is the most frequent benign tumor occurring in elderly male patients. In young men, the prostate gland is at an almost undetectable rudimentary stage and spreads across the coating of the urinary tract like a cluster of seeds. However, during puberty, its form begins to change due to the increased production of testosterone and dehydrotestosterone hormones. So what is prostate adenoma? What are its symptoms? How can it be diagnosed? And also, what are the available treatments for it? So our role today is to answer most of your questions regarding prostate adenoma. Today we have Dr. Park, who is a leading doctor at Hanyang University Hospital. He's going to discuss with us everything about prostate adenoma from an experienced medical point of view. Hi, Umi. Before we start, please subscribe to our channel so the next time you'll be updated with our new releases. I will move on to prostate adenoma. Yeah. So what is prostate adenoma and what are the symptoms of prostate? Mm. As I mentioned earlier, the prostate is wrapped around the path of urine. It was said earlier that it was a necessary organ to give birth to a baby, but even if you have continuously have sex, the appropriate age to give birth to a baby is about 30s for men. Of course, even in their 40s and 50s, they can give birth to babies, but naturally or biologically, after that age, there is no need to give birth. So from then on, men start aging. They gradually age so they don't feel it, but the prostate is no longer needed from now on, so it gets bigger and bigger. Then, as the path of urine increases in size, it keeps interfering with the flow of urine preventing it from coming out with good pressure. And because it doesn't come out comfortably, you have to give it pressure. And even afterwards, some of it remains inside, so there are various symptoms of irritation when urinating. And the prostate adenoma grows and presses there. The enlargement itself irritates the bladder, which can cause irritation symptoms such as frequent or urgency to urinate. One of the most difficult symptoms for patients is having to wake up during the night because of the urine. When you get older, it's very difficult. So these are the main symptoms of this prostate adenoma. So just like cancer, does the adenoma also have stages or levels? And what kind of treatment every stage? Has? We don't usually divide it into stage 1, 2, 3, 4, like cancer, but symptoms or size can be divided into moderate and severe. But in fact, adenoma is not cancer, so no matter how large the prostate is, if you are not uncomfortable, you don't necessarily treat it, but can do the examination regularly and just observe it. But in the end, the prostate grows, and symptoms will appear someday. So, for example, the normal size when you're young, in your 20s, is about the size of a walnut egg. The size of a walnut egg itself is about 20 grams, but it exceeds about 30 grams. It is expressed that the prostate is enlarged. If it exceeds 50 grams, it is said that it is moderate or higher. If it exceeds 100 cc, it is seen as hardly curable with the medicine you take then you would need to do surgery. So, as I mentioned before, for prostate cancer, you can do surgery that removes the whole prostate altogether. But because benign prostate enlargement is not a cancer, we just do a surgery that would just enough help the patient live without discomfort. So, we don't cut through the stomach, but we put an endoscope through the small hole in the urethra and remove the enlarged adenoma with a laser. So what kind of examin examination are out there to know if it's an adenoma or not? So are there any examinations out there to know whether it's an adenoma or not? I explained briefly when we talked about prostate cancer that there is a specific antigen of the prostate called PSA, which rises. With an enlarged prostate, its levels don't go up as high as cancer. But in severe cases, the levels do rise. So a biopsy should be done if in doubt. And if the biopsy shows that it is an adenoma and not cancer, then treatment for adenoma will follow. I mentioned earlier that an ultrasound can be done through the anus to check for cancer cells. This can also be used when measuring the size of the prostate instead of using an MRI, which is unnecessary. Because ultrasounds are not harmful to the body, you can measure your prostate safely with this method. So last question regarding this, there are many people who ask about if there are any ways to prevent uh, prostate adenoma. The enlargement of the prostate, in fact, is a sign of aging. 
Just like you get wrinkles and grow gray hair as you get older, you can't completely stop the prostate from enlarging. But when it is enlarged extremely, we treat it with the medication that stops it from enlarging further. This medication has the same ingredients as anti-hair loss drugs, so you can prevent it through such drugs. For the cases that are not so severe, you can prevent it by changing your lifestyle habits. The most representatively known thing is saw palmetto. This is an herbal ingredient which comes from the roots of trees that American Indians used to eat in the old days. Although it is not a type of medicine, saw palmetto is known to help prevent prostate adenoma but not cancer, and this is, of course, only for men. Additionally, not only does beans and tomatoes help prevent prostate cancer, but it is also known to help prevent prostate adenoma. Just because the prostate is enlarged severely, it doesn't lead to prostate cancer. However, the cause and prevention methods of the two are very similar. A lot of people are mistaken to think that severe prostate adenoma automatically leads to prostate cancer. But that's not true. The age that you would get either one is what is similar, but they are not related in any way otherwise. But the prevention methods are alike. So today the doctor explained in details everything related to prostate adenoma, including its symptoms and how can it be diagnosed and treated. Thank you for joining us once again today at Cloud Hospital TV. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and respond to you as soon as possible.